see me? Yeah, I think so. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to decarbonize your engine using water again. But this is on a petrol engine this time because a couple of people wasn't too sure about whether it would work on a petrol engine the same. So we have got a 1.6 SR. And what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this clip and spray water into the engine. So we'll suck it up from there and into the engine. Now a couple of things that's important to remember when doing this is that the car must be at temperature. There's no point doing it if the car's not at temperature. You want it at temperature. So let me show you what the temperature is at the moment. It's just under 90 degrees because the fan just came on, but it's on at temperature now. So now I'm going to go through the process and show you how it's done. First things first, let's start by removing the clip to gain access to the inlet manifold itself. Now it's pretty simple, as you see it's just a clip there. Now it's important to do this after the airflow sensor because you don't want to be spraying nothing on the airflow sensor. Um, now it's important to know, I'll give you this advice, is that your light may come on temporarily, your engine management light may come on temporarily. That's just because it isn't, the airflow sensor isn't under pressure and working correctly in its environment but once you connect it back together it should be fine as you saw there i just had a simple squeezy bottle and um just use that to put that in your car it's all pretty simple stuff and um yeah let's do it okay make sure your car's at 2000 to 3000 rpms if you need someone else to help you get someone else to help you but make sure you keep it up in the rev range once you've got it up in the rev range then you can start spraying it in as you want now a lot of people speak of hydro locking and um yeah I've, I've heard of it but doing it this way it's it's virtually impossible you could be spraying here all your life hydro locking generally happens when people drive through deep puddles and um suck up like a cup load of water so i want to advise you do this with a hose um but if you if you do it the way i'm doing it here in this picture you should have no problem at all another question i want to um answer is um i've had people ask me is this good on petrol engines or diesel engines do you get the same effect and yes virtually any combustion engine will give you the same effect you you it will work on any of them exactly the same so you shouldn't have no worry there so it's important to remember just to spray spray frequently and when you hear the car dying stop spraying ease up off it Okay, now I personally love this method and I've got good reason for it. Now, if you see the picture to your left, this is the picture of an engine block that's been stripped down. Now, this engine suffered a heat gasket failure, which means the heat, the gasket between this block and the cylinder head actually failed. And what was happening was the coolant was leaking into the cylinder. And you can guess what cylinder that is because it's the cleanest one. So what actually happened when the water was when the coolant was leaking into the cylinder it actually steam cleaned the top of the piston. Now this is why number 2 piston from the top is so clean because it steamed clean the top of the piston. So there's clear evidence that this method works very 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 well on your cars. A lot of these other fuel additives they'll sell they'll, they'll do things but they there's no real evidence and because they don't have a governing body so to speak to actually prove that they, their claims are real they can virtually say what they want and exaggerate what they want so this is why I choose this method this is why I stand by it because it's proven and any decent mechanic will know that that's a familiar sight one clean piston in on, on, on a um, head gasket failure scenario so this is why I try it this is why I do it and this is why I advise other people to do it so you know Try and give it a go and um, see how you feel about it. If you look in some of my other comments on my other decarbonisation videos, there's lots of positive feedback by it. Although it may be daunting and unusual, this is a very good method to use. So don't be scared and give it a go. Once you're happy you've put in enough water into you sprayed enough water into your intake, just put it all back together the way you took it off. It's like a two minute job as you can see there. So just make sure you clip it all back together and you will tie up to the um, airflow sensor so it can all recalibrate how it's supposed to work. 
and then really truly after now after you've done that it's just about taking it for a test drive and giving it a little blowout if you can get some revs in it that's good if you can't you can't but you know a good nice little good little thump <laughs> get your foot down a little bit it should be all right make sure to be safe yeah As you saw, it was really easy to, to, to... The process is very easy. You just need a simple squeezy bottle, nothing major, and um, get it around 3,000 revs and spray into the intake. Now, the theory behind it is it cleans the top of the pistons. Um, so it cleans the internals of your engine, which is make it run cleaner and make it run better. The car feels good. More quirky, more sharper. So yeah, definitely do it. It's another success, I would say.